Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we are now bear witnessing to our beautiful little coal run that kind of goes all the way up into the mountains, over the big mountains and over to here where it picks up a ton of coal and takes it back. Guys, welcome back to the episode right now where we are building our very own transportation company in the vast expansions of the United States of America. Now, last episode, if you were here watching it, I kind of implemented uh, the kind of the ability to collect the coal uh, from all the way over here, which is absolutely amazing. I had to kind of wiggle it through the mountains and back down again because of money costs. I couldn't build a straight tunnel. I also implemented the system to be able to pick up the iron ore, and now we are actually producing machines. Well, we would do, we would be producing machines if I could then distribute it. So combining the machines, and where is it, the food over here, uh, we can now start to deliver all of the eastern cities everything that they need because each of these eastern cities right now require food and machines, which is perfect. So all I've got to do is distribute it over here. Now I was in two minds whether to kind of set my run up to bring the goods over to start giving to each of the cities, but then it kind of dawned on me. How much is it going to cost me to not only build a train system to all of these major cities to bring the food over, but to bring the food over in general and the machines over in general to a centralized location to distribute it, it's going to be quite expensive. So what I think I'm going to do in today's episode, we're going to look at setting up a passenger run line from Boston through New York, through to Washington DC, straight into Charlotte, and I don't know whether I'm going to kind of make it go through Savannah or through Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not too sure yet. We're probably making it to Atlanta, Georgia. Then have a separate line that goes through Savannah, uh, St. Petersburg, down to Miami. Uh, sole reason is, if I set the passenger line up now, I can then have people going from city to city, which is beautiful. But then I have a train line that goes through all these cities, which I can connect up. At the moment, I can utilize this line here. That comes through to distribute the goods. I feel like I need to build the train line first to connect the cities before I bring them what they need. Thus, I'll make money by transporting people and that will pay for them to eventually get their goods. So there's no point in me building this massive line uh, and then only feed a city every so often when I can be making money transporting the peeps up and down. So... That's my game plan. We'll build the passenger line. We'll start in Boston, New York, Washington, Charlotte, and we'll stop for now in Atlanta. Yes, this is going to be expensive. <laughs> but the amount of money I probably probably make from this will be glorious. I might actually stop it in Charlotte and then have the Charlotte then split into two. Yeah, we'll see how much money I've got um, kind of remaining. So if you do enjoy this series and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But if I look at the charts right now, recently, in the previous year, we've made the most money we've ever made so far. Now, I do want to add more stuff onto this route. This is the problem I got. What I want to do costs lots of money. And, and what I want to do is build new lines, obviously. But I still need to add additional trains to these routes. I've even got to get the additional um, ore, iron ore mine route set up as well. But that also costs money. So no matter what I do, I can't do the other thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Cats 22, boys. I can't, can't really do much. So we'll let this grind itself out because the money we do make from these current systems is perfect. I know a lot of you guys want me to kind of uh, do more to these current routes. But i got to think of the bigger picture. If I can set the passenger route all up, and we'll just take it to Charlotte for now, we then have a train line connecting these major cities, then with one simple, you know, owl connection just there, I can then bring the machines and food over once I've figured out a simple route to do it all. So this is going to be fun, um, and, we, and, and I will throw this out right now. We're going to have to break and destroy the cities, right, to implement this system. Now... It's okay, because we're not feeding the cities anything at the moment, so they will eventually bounce back and grow again. But I just want to throw that out there right now. This is going to be the most money I've ever spent in a single episode, and the most chaos and destruction I've ever done in a single episode. So we'll start here then in Boston. We'll start here right now, and we'll go to buildings, and we're going to go for an end train route. 
Now we'll go for we'll start with the passenger. I need to modify each one of these um, train stations to also accept cargo. Uh, so this will for when I eventually do expand. Now we're gonna have to also make sure if I put the game into pause for now, because sometimes when you delete stuff like this, oh that was expensive, the game will regenerate it back again. So I'll end up spending that money for no particular reason. So, yeah, we're going to have to destroy some buildings. 400,000 versus... Oh, my goodness me. We're going we're gonna to have to cause some chaos no matter what we do. So if I place this just over here, right, I'm going for the long platform. Or should I start with the... Let's start with the cargo platform, actually. I only say this because... Um, I can then modify the actual passenger one. So if I drop you in just there... And then, because this is an end platform, we're going to do two um, kind of sides. Normally, you just do the one, and then just let them kind of come in and out as, as you please. But because we eventually going to have passengers and cargo, you kind of need both sides of it. So, platforms, passenger. So, I could place this in, or I could start here to save that building. Do you know what? No, that building's got to go. Right, we have the platform in just here. <laughs> There we go, boys. That's the passenger platform for now. So I won't need anything additional because when we set up our like signals and stuff like that, we'll have one train coming in every so often. It will all be swiggity swag. So with that said, the real chaos now ensues here, New York. Now, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg right now to be able to do what I want to do and to be able to delete what I want to delete. But I've got to figure out where is the best positioning then for an actual train station. Now, if I go to the train stations, you can see where the, the industry is a little bit split, but it's mainly on the left side. The passengers is on the right side. We're going to have to do a normal style um, train. So it's not an end one. It'll kind of have to, I'll probably have to place it somewhere here like that because of the uh, how we have the spacing. But it's going to be expensive. Have I pushed it maybe here slightly or damn. So like I said, guys, we're going to have to destroy the cities and then they'll have to rebuild themselves. So if I, for 1.4 million, delete you, right? Oh, it's so painful to do this. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, it's not like I enjoy this. <laughs> it's so painful. But you got to think of the bigger picture and what we're going to get back out from it in the long run. So if I build this here. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt my feelings. And I've got to do a lot of configurations as well. Now, the reason I'm going for such long platforms is, one, the goods, and two, the amount of passengers waiting, uh, and three, it just gives me the space to kind of maneuver buildings and stuff like that. So we've got um, actual, what do you call it over there, cargo on this side. Now, this is going to be interesting because I will need them to be able to stop on both sides. So in reality, what I'm hoping I can do is split... Right, split this one side here with um, cargo and then your normal um, passenger platform. So we can get the best of both worlds on this one side. So then for passenger buildings, we'll go for you just there. Uh, and then tracks. So we need to do one, two, three. We need to do four tracks in total. So we have the bypassing route for if cargo train doesn't want to stop in and wants to go straight to Boston. It doesn't have to use the platform sides. You know what I mean? All right, bam, bam, bam. And then platform over here for the cargo. So we will have to put the game back into play mode eventually. Uh, but what we'll do first... Now, this is expensive because we're also doing a little bit of terraforming right now. Uh, we also need to make sure that the road connection can establish it on this side uh, of the train tracks as well. So passenger buildings again, we're going to squeeze in. And it might be a good idea for first to delete this. Ouch, that was painful. Uh, and then get a beautiful passion, uh, passenger building in, which we'll go for this one here. Um, cargo building doesn't really matter for us at the moment, but I will do the... Um, can we not do the underground bits for the... Oh, hold on. I've just realized what I've done. I'm such an idiot. I'm such a damn fool. I've done all of this platform here, cargo. He's a damn noob. He is a damn noob right now. All right, because we've got the cargo on the one side, so that that should be adequate for us. All right, place you there, 
uh, miscellaneous. We'll do the under sections there so you can get from one side of the, the station to the other. And then we need to make sure that the road kind of gets to that same level. But what I'll do, because you've also got to change and configure how the area is going to work. So if I run this down to there, it does connect, which is perfectly, you know, fine. Bringing this down as well. So if I bring that down in somewhat of a straight line, we have this road. So it connects on this road, and then it's got a straight road there to connect. So when New York builds itself up again, that's the road it's got to work with. Actually, I might delete this road and place it back in again because it's not particular, particularly straight, is it? Right, I think that's as good as you're going to get it there and then bring it in. Uh, so the station becomes the center point to the whole area. Now, granted, I'm going to have to delete this road to make the train tracks go through, but we'll get onto that at a later date. Same over here as well. I'm going to have to slightly get rid of the river. <laughs> I mean, technically, New York, Manhattan's here. Or is it here? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm sure Ma this is meant to be Manhattan. This is like Brooklyn and Queens and and that's New Jersey, right? But, you know, let's not get, you know, <laughs> bogged down on the details right now. So I've got the station in there. Now, I'm going to have to connect the train lines because if I put it into play mode, they'll start building up again and I might cut off areas that I might have to then technically delete again as well. So, yeah, this is not the fun part. This is definitely not the fun part because it's also the most expensive part as well. So back to the train tracks then. We'll initially bring you out and then you out as well. So a decent decent amount, decent uh, kind of angle there. So then we'll bring these in. So we'll do a 65 just there. We'll do a 65 just there. And then a little bit just after. We'll do the old crisscross. And there we go. So we're into our single lane. Now, this one's a little bit difficult because you've got to go straight through this, the residential side. And, I mean, I could do stuff. Like, I mean, I'm going to do um, a vehicle bridge going over to connect, and it's probably what I'm going to do over here. So I've got to delete this, and it does pay me. Guys, I'm not enjoying it, okay? I'm not enjoying the fact that I've got to delete a lot of this. It does pain me, but at the, at the, at the end of the day, <laughs> the city will bounce back. Now, we do have a little bit of a collision, so it won't kind of cause what I want it to do here. So if I just kind of go to flatten, and if I just flatten this for now, we got to suck it up, okay? We have to suck it up. So build to there, all the way up to... Oh, that not connect? I'll get that to there, and then that should be all snapped in perfectly fine. So if I try and do the same what I've done previously, and so we kind of went for a 65 here. So 65 just there. 65 just there. I'm kind of going on, on that little section here. And then we went for 75. 75. The old crisscrossy works there, boys. The old crisscrossy. And then we have the New York train station now up and running. So, granted, I've got to delete a few more bits of bobs. <laughs> oh, man. The destruction I've got to cause is unreal. And then, kind of going all the way through this area. So, if I kind of just bend this with us. So, I won't do any of the signals just yet. We'll just kind of get this to how we want it. Oh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? So, I think we'll do it in smaller stages. So that was going to be like 300 and something thousand, and now we've got it down to a lot cheaper. There we go. And this one should be just as cheap, because we've already done half the terraforming already. So the train line goes all the way up. A little bit of a hump there, but eventually we'll have trains that can manage these bumps. So we have a train line that connects from Boston, which I don't have to crisscross just yet. So I'm going to do it actually just here. There we go. So to Boston, straight to New York City. Uh, we have a separate platform and passenger for Boston because it's an end station. Uh, and then we have uh, separate setups here. I might... I don't... This is the other thing as well. I don't know where the goods are going to come from. 
I might have to split the other side of New York over here to have a little bit of cargo as well. Because at the end of the day, you, you just don't know. Oh, I'm doing the wrong side. You don't know where the goods are going to come from. So I'd rather play it safe than sorry and just have both sides kind of set up for it. Uh, I need to delete. Oh, it's going to delete the building. No, the building. Right, passenger building. There we go. So you just never know. I'd rather play it safe than sorry and, and be able to utilize both platforms for cargo and passengers. Right, okay. So that's all set up then. I don't really have much money left. But as it stands right now, uh, I can put it back into play mode and just let the city build and reconfigure itself around these areas just while I try and generate some more money coming in. So back into play mode then. New York is not going to like what I've just done. But if I delete this and then maybe bring this road further down... I'm wondering if I can utilize this and then maybe bridge it up and over just to kind of help them out with the with the uh, the passings over my areas. So straight over like that would be, would kind of work. I mean the bridge is a bit awkward. Um or I could have it go completely over the both of them. But it needs, it needs to go quite high. So if I delete this, I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a helping hand. Oh, that would work. So if I went to here. All right, if I just went to there, bring this further down. Connect in. Connect in like that. We have a crossing that works just there. I need to do the exact same thing over here. And I don't know whether doing, because I'm kind of have to gonna I'm gonna have to kind of delete this to get the run up to be able to do the connection. But like they're they're already trying to build right now. Like pause before they do anything because it'll be pointless for me to delete anything. Now, do I do a tunnel or a bridge? Hmm. So if I had this road come into here, right, bridging over. If I had that. Well, we'll try and do something there anyway. Right, bridge or, or tunnel? Right, tunnel's not going to work. We'll try our best to bridge it. Now, I should really be doing this on a bend. All right, try and go as far as we can. So if I went to there, brought that straight down. So what I've done right now is given them two options to cross to the other side, all via roads. And that's what we kind of have to think of. The logistics, get out of here, sir, I weren't talking to you. The logistics of them trying to kind of um, navigate New York. Now, worst case scenario, I'll have to build a few more. This is not the best of connections, neither is this. Because if I don't give them the helping hand, then they'll never really build correctly around this area. And it'll just be a kerfuffle. Um, Boston's okay. It's got this connecting road, but I might eventually at some point make this as un like a, a, a tunnel that goes underneath. And I can do some more connecting buildings either side to get to the roads. But you get the gist of it. I mean, you could, you could spend hours tweaking all of this. You could spend hours doing it. It will still never be right, <laughs> but you can spend hours doing it. But main thing anyway, right, we've got uh, New York kind of technically set up. I know we've had to destroy it, but eventually, look, they're building roads connecting right now. And we've got this as the border road, so they won't build another road coming off it. So this is Jewish justice. It, it's going to bounce back New York. They're even building buildings on the inner side here, backing on. And uh, they're utilizing my bridge going over. I mean, it's a bit slow for the horse and carts, but when it becomes vehicles eventually, they'll be they'll be all good. Right, not bad, not bad, not bad. So, that was expensive. Very expensive. Now, what I could do is set up a little train route that goes back and forth here to start earning some revenue. As good of an idea that is, um, I kind of want to do the rest. <laughs> so, Washington, D.C. is going to be my next plan. 
Now, if I deleted this road here and that road here and had it tearing through this section and utilizing both sides, that would be perfect. You can see the width that we've got. Hopefully, that will be enough space. Uh, I can use smaller buildings and different kind of stuff to kind of connect to it. But we'll see what happens. So, ultimately, then, we're just waiting for more money to come in. We are just waiting for more money to come in. So, we've got a train on the way over here, which will drop in one million big ones. I need enough money to do Washington. So... Uh, I'm not... Oh, hang on, we got to go to Charlotte. Oh, no, Washington's here. I need enough money to uh, Washington that I can pause the game, build the whole thing, and then unpause it and still have enough money left over. Right. Big train for lugs coming down. That one's going to go back and grab the goods. Uh, we should have the trains over here consistently making money too. And we've got... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. New gondolas. We can carry more stuff in the trains. I see, I see, I see. But that's going to be a lot of money that we have to spend. Right. Drop it off the guts. Catching. <laughs> so if I was to modify this, let's just kind of see what these new gondolas would do if we eventually went to replace them. So if I edit the train then, the new cargo. So the gondolas that we've got carry seven. The brand new ones carry twelve. So if I added one, two, three, four, and deleted one, two, three, four, it will cost me 1.6 million, but it will give me an extra 20 capacity just by switching them over and still having the same amount. I ain't going to do it because, again, it comes down to money. It always comes down to money. The logs are going to be delivered. They'll pick up some, um, some metals right now, drop it over there so we're making good cash, and the iron ore is back on the way down. Right, okay, good stuff. So, my next issue is then navigating the, the smell of New Jersey um, factory over here. So, the way we've got to kind of come in, if I'm going to utilize that, is from this way. So, it'd probably be a good idea to kind of go over the rumpy bumpy um, on the this side here. We've got a stone plant over there as well. And then through there, then we've got a longer run down to Charlotte. And then Charlotte itself, kind of the same again. Instead of going through this, I could actually just go through this section here. Less, less to pretty much delete. But the more central I make the train station to Washington, the better. The more we're going to utilize it, the more passengers we're going to get. Now, how is New York doing there? Because I'm loving the fact that they're building buildings on the inner side of the road. I think the angle gets a little bit sharper here, so we might not get as many going down just there. And they're utilizing the crossings very well. I will have to build more crossings as time goes on. Another road has been built. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Right then, so. The iron train's on the way in. I might build the passenger train. Just to, again, start earning some revenue. Uh, but this train's going to drop a load of goods off right now. I can't remember how much this actually makes. At 731,000, that's really good. Really good. So I've got 1.7 million. It's going to cost me so much more than that. I'm thinking that we maybe invest in a few more trains. Now we've got the iron train coming in right now. If I was to manage this vehicle and say I wanted to... How do you duplicate it? So clone the vehicle. Not enough money. I don't even know how much it would cost to clone the vehicle. Uh, so let me let me just jump into here real quick and buy it. Buy it. So Steam... It's the is it the Baldwin class? I actually don't remember what train it is. Where is it? It's the red one. Okay, the red one, which should be oh no, it's the the, the mogul. So if I went then for cargo, let's just say I replicated the one we've currently got, and we had ten of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which carries a capacity of seventy. Three point five million basically is what we would need. So this is the predicament that I'm in, guys, is is wanting to do these expansions, but also wanting to pay for other expansions. I should have just fully immersed myself into these lines. Now, I've got to set the other wood route up as well. That would be quite important. I basically need to build two more trains. One that gets the wood, and the other one that gets more ore. So we can have double the amounts of goods being produced at uh, our factory over here. So we got 3.5 million right now. This is the predicament at the end. Do I just pay for another train? Hmm. 
Let me see if I can replicate this train. So manage the vehicle. Now, if I cloned it... Not enough money. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I might clone this one because we already have the route set up for it. Now that train... If I, it's a uh, steam again. We'll go for the mogul and we'll kind of see what happens. We've got um, box car. No, it's this one. So it's got one, two, three, four. Actually, what has it got? Because it carries a lot more than we than we know. Oh no, it's just ten of those. Because it also does the wood also and the planks are in the same thing, aren't they? And the steel, sorry. It's all the same thing, isn't it? Yes. So that technically should cost the same. So cargo. Um, so that does the, the planks, the wood, the steel. So capacity of 70 on that. That should be like 3.5 million as well. Right, we're going to buy this train next. Because that will be another way that we can earn big cash money moolahs. So we'll wait for this train to drop the goods off. And it's going to go all the way over to the Montreal. Um section uh, New York's bouncing back you can kind of check the charts on this so it had that dip when I killed everything off and the residential and commercial are, are higher than what it was it's just the in industry suffered the most how much of a bank loan am I paying back as well because oh, see I can get a few more pennies on the bank loan but yeah, it is what it is uh, right let's get this next train this is what I'm excited about more than anything so buy vehicles, uh, steam, bam. And I know I could go for bigger fingers, but we're just going to do this one for now. Oh, a new train. Actually, if I cancel these off and I go for the, again, cargo, but we go for the one, this one. So how many can I go until I can't afford any more? So 3.6, it, it's not the same capacity spending the same amount of money. So we'll hold out on it. Um, the side stakes then. 70. Oh, I don't have enough! Where did my money go? Right, we've got the coal train on the way. And we have the iron ore train on the way as well. Just when I thought I could afford it, guys. They make me spend even more. <laughs> I just needed additional train to make the cash. Right, the coal train's in the way. I don't know how I'll be able to afford it with this train dropping off. I'm down to one... Okay, 2.9. Yeah, we'd definitely be able to afford it right now. I'm just waiting for this train to come in. Is it here yet? Here it is. So get ready to buy. Oh, I can afford it now. Buy. And that's got to go on this route over to here. So that would be on route... F line 4 it will be on. So a brand new train chugging out. So the, the difference is right now we're going to have double the amount of wood coming in compared to the steel. So it's going to off balance the trains going back and dropping off those guts. Oh, did I set line four up to do the same stuff? I did. Perfect. So we off balance it right now until, obviously, I've got double the amount of ore and coal we've got coming in right now. Because we've got double the amount of wood. Not the end of the world, again, not the end of the world. Uh, why don't I pick up any goods? Do you know what might be a better idea? Because I just realised. I just realised something. It's now going to have to start producing goods on both platforms. Is that a smart idea? Or do I filter this down to doing one system? Where the same loop starts here... Bam, then goes to there, bam, then to there, bam, to keep it all on the same platform, or is that a little bit too much? Now, we'll keep it like this for now, because the amount of goods we can have coming in, an even distribution should be okay. So we won't produce any wood, because obviously it doesn't have any wood to produce. That train that did pick up nothing, it's going to stop here and nothing's really going to happen. But it's not all going to happen until we collect the wood from over here. Which, at the moment, there is only eight planks of wood remaining. Why are you taking forever to drop the woods on this platform? So, we, we, again, it's, it's, it's a waiting game. It 100% is a little bit of a waiting game. 
So let's we gotta sort Washington DC out. Now I reckon I'm gonna have to borrow a few extra pennies. Granted, you know, I'm already in quite a bit of debt. But I feel like we're gonna see huge potential returns from all of this. That's got 15. I know it's still got a long way to go. The train's here right now. Yeah. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, it's a tough one. I might just been too much of an eager beaver. <laughs> Probably. We should have set a passenger route up here as well and earned some money this way. <clears throat> Consistent money is being earned. Right, you know what? We'll do that now then. Because, again, that's another way that which we can pay for this. Because we are spending money on expenses on this route. At least earn some revenue from this route. Um, right, okay. So, if I place this just here. And we'll make the train obviously come into the tracks. Also, what side of the train tracks have I been utilizing? So the right side, they drive on the right side. It is American style. At least you got that right, Sonic. Uh, there we go. And let's quickly set up some signals. So. <laughs> I don't even have enough to place down any signals. Damn. All right, there we go. Now, I know this one's going to be a little bit too close, but your boy does it anyway. All right, let's turn around this way. I kind of like that bridge right now, the idea of these bridges going up and over. Do we do any in the middle? Have you, you old trains waiting? And then just after this... So, lines then. So, this will be my first passenger line. Which, at the minute, it's only going to start here and there and then go back. So, let's make sure we got this correctly. It does split. And goes to there. So, until we can extend it any further, this is just how it is. Now, I'm going to place a train down with a couple of carriages. Right? Only because I don't know what kind of demand we're going to get whether or not this is going to be a profitable route. So, what type of train do I go with? Now, if I check the passenger wagons, we got this one here, which is probably the one I'm going to use because of the, the price difference, has a top speed of 50. So, we're not going to be limited on the carriages. We're going to be limited on the actual engine itself. So, if I go for this one, if I just go for the Baldwin, or how much more is the Mogul? Okay, I'm going to go for the Mogul. <laughs> Just spending money again. And we'll go for one, two. Ideally, we would want three, wouldn't we? Like, ideally. Because they have a capacity of 32. Actually, do you know what? No. I don't think... Oh, I don't know. Are we going to have more than 32 people using the train? Oh, this is this is a tough this is a tough cookie. I mean, I can always add more on. That's the great thing about this. I can always add more on. So I don't need to worry or stress too much, right? Yeah, I could always add more on. Let's just start with a two, and just get some money coming into the bank account right now. So I need two point nine million, which is a train about to stop off over here. Is it a steel train or is it a wood train? It's always oh, my first wood train. And my second one, sorry. Which probably is not going to be filled to the brim, so you won't get a full payday out of that. But it's an... Oh, it was almost enough to buy the train, and then... Just as I pressed the button, I went slightly below the money I needed. Well, I'm gl I am glancing at it right now, in case my, my vehicles that come every so often... No, okay, we're going to have to wait for another payday. Um, What about over here? Are you guys dropping any goods off? Everyone seems to be slacking right now, don't they? Well, that and the additional expenses that I've thrown into the whole of these systems. Right, so, we should have a... 
Okay, there's the wood train just there. I don't want to leave this green because I've got it all set up, really good to go. The coal train is coming for the mountains right now. Oh man, this is this is annoying. This is right. This is my issue, guys, and I'm sure you all agree. I should have focused on just kind of maximizing the current lines that I've got before building new lines. I am my biggest critic. You can criticize me all you like. I am my biggest critic, right? And I know full well, but I get too excited. I, I see the bigger picture of what I'm trying to achieve. And rather than doing small baby steps to kind of, you know, get to the end result, I'm doing big leaps. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, why can't I afford anything? Yeah, I can see why you can't afford anything, Sonny. <laughs> Damn noob. But but though, there's going to be a point in this series where at the, the flick of a switch, we go from like this right now to making too much money because it will all fall into place. It really will. Now, we've got two trains making their approach right now, so this should pay uh, for this passenger train. So, in you come, boys. In you come. Got a wood train incoming right now. And that will drop the goods off. Not quite enough to pay for it, but we have that coal train coming in right now. Which, that coal train will be enough to pay for this. And then we'll technically have our first passenger line. <laughs> oh, how exciting. Right, here we go. Da ching boom, purchased, and uh, on the line seven. So, how much demand? I, I could I could have un be underwhelmed and have no demand. Or I could be overwhelmed and have too much demand. Now, too much demand is what I want. Because I can always grow and add more and more people to it. Not enough demand means I ain't going to be able to pay the bills. So, this is also a cargo stop there. And I say cargo stop, it's a cargo building. I think I need to build a passenger building to get people on and off. There's already people right over here waiting. There is two people awaiting right now. If I see people over here awaiting, then... Yeah, okay, there's someone walking in right now. So they can still use the cargo entrance as a normal entrance. So there's a few people walking in, which is good. This train's going to do its thing right now. We'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on this train. It can carry up to 32 people. It picks up four people, which, again, doesn't seem like a lot, but give it time. Give it time for people to walk to the station. We'll see what happens. But um, four people. Let's see how much money four people makes this train. There's actually quite a few people I can see on the platform right now in Boston. I think they don't get counted until they stop walking. So, train's coming in. Right, it makes uh, 24,000, which again, not a lot. 25 people on the train. Interesting. So, how many over here right now in uh, New York, New York? But well, there's definitely not more than four than there was originally. They're utilizing the underpassage right now, which is great to see. I think some people are utilizing that underpassage just to get to the other side of the city. But uh, the train's coming in right now. You can kind of see the smoke. So at 25 people, how much money does this make us? 154,000. And then from 25 to 24 people? Right, so I'm not sure if this is going to break even or not. It probably won't. But at least I've got movement. And if the people keep moving, the city's slightly grow. They won't ultimately grow until they have their, their goods that they require. But we'll get a little bit of growth now happening because we have a connected city. Or two connected cities. Which should fuel more people wanting to move about. So you can see on the finances that we haven't broke even at all. But money being made right now. Bam. Oh, okay. So that's technically profit on the year. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. I mean, expense is going to creep up. But profit on the year, if it can continue? Maybe this is a slow burner. Maybe this simple back and forth route probably won't make much money. It's a slow burner. Because the expense is about to creep over the income again, but we're about to drop the passengers off in just a moment. 
And there might be a fair few passengers coming in on this one. So I'm from 14 to then 26. Okay. Like I said, a slow burner. Interesting. Um, very interesting. So how are we doing over here then, anyway? We've got uh, I, uh, iron ore dropping in again. Goods being produced and distributed on both sides. We have the one train for wood and steel on the way. We have the other train with just wood on coming in right now. So we should see a big payday. Quite a decent payday we should see right now. We've got the ore train chuckling by. And that's the coal train, sorry. Not the ore train. That's the coal train because that's had to stop and go this way. So this is coming in right now, hot and heavy. That would also pick up some goods and take them back. So that should go back with, with a full load as well to... Uh, is it Detroit or is it Michigan? Yeah, it's Detroit for the GM Ford plant. And then we also have the ore train on the way down right now. Oh, okay. Big payday's coming in. I might be able to now destroy Washington. <laughs> it just sounds so bad to say. I might be able to destroy Washington. Now, if I wanted to delete this... That's going to... Okay, actually not too much money. But i got to delete all the buildings to be able to squeeze it all in. So wait for this ore train to drop in. Do I wait for this train to drop off the goods in, at the uh, the factory? Alright, this drops these off right now. 1.7 million. Right, and then we'll wait for this train to drop off the goods just there. And then I think that's my all my money for quite some time. So we'll be able to pay for the train station in Washington right now. See? Slowly, slowly getting closer. I got nearly 5 million in the bank right now. Told you it's working. Told you we're going to get there, boys. Alright. Okay, there we go. 5.2. So, pause. I got 5.2 to play with. So, before I do anyway, uh, is this still making money? So, okay, it does make money. Again, minimal, but it makes money. Once we can then get it to Washington, we got three cities in a row. That's when, I mean, that's when it's going to be fully loaded. We'll need a third carriage at that point. Right, so. I've got to delete you. I've got to delete you. And basically, I want to replicate the same station that we built in New York. So, buildings. We'll start with a cargo t uh, middle terminus. Where's Washington? It's just here. And rotate it. And get it just right here now i could do two platforms but i gotta delete the rest so we'll stick to one or should i do it as a passenger it's the pass the passenger building is a lot smaller so i can squeeze it over a little bit easier so we've got the cargo we got a bit of a passenger section so it works both ways i now need to navigate the train traffic out which is going to be fun now <sighs> hmm I do have the option to build these. Now, this gives me the ability to build an underground. But if I reduce the length quite dramatically, up the number of train tracks, what that's allowing me then to do is to build a tunnel. But it does mean the slope's too much. It does mean right, that I can't do the crisscross until a little bit further out. But it will allow me to keep this road in. If I brought this to 71, it's still going to remove a building. 76, and the slope is too much. I mean, it wouldn't really work on that side. But it'll be quite cool to try and implement something like this in, right? I mean, if it deletes one building, it is what it is. 70, 68. 69. Right, I get it right now. I, I I haven't utilized this in quite some time. Is there a way to see underground? Right, if that's that one. So that's there. If I do a... There... 
So that's one, two, three, and then four. I can see how this connects them. You know what I mean? Alright, track connections. So that should connect underneath. And we don't even realise how great of a connection that is. Right, so if I actually delete this, delete this. So this is, this. it's a bit different, isn't it? It's something a little bit different. So having that run, and then I've got to get that to kind of bend, actually. We'll do all this on a bend. So I would need it to kind of go to the side. Oh, actually, I, I just realized that's going through the building there. To be honest with you, it's more flatter to go down this way. To then have this bend and kind of go in that direction. Like that. But that's way too harsh of a bend. Hmm. So if I went this way instead. Okay. If I went like that. Now to have that connect down, it's got to go for there. Obviously that will not work. If I then did this. And what side is, is this this one on? That's the right side. I think this is somewhat better than going this way now. And then for what I would normally do, I have to now do a little bit further down. So it's kind of annoying that we've got to go that distance. But if I get to leave this road and still the connector, it's again, like I said, it's something a little bit different, isn't it? So if I go by, uh, let's do the 65 there. I think is, that's the speed limit, isn't it? Apparently this one's a 75, but we'll take it anyway. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this on a, on a bend. But we'll do it anyway, so we'll go up to about... We'll go to here, it should be fine. Crisscrossing just there. So that happens a lot earlier to get into this platform. It is what it is, there's not really a fat lot I can do about that. Um, but it just keeps the integrity of this. Now this itself, if I smoothen it all off... I don't know why it's purple there. I think that's just how it kind of colours itself. Uh, smooth. If I smooth in the edge, I mean, I could spend all day doing this. What do you reckon to this? If you guys don't like these little tunnels, then maybe I'll uh, change them out for something else. But I think it's quite cool to see it go under. Yeah. So I've done it on this side with the old crisscrossy. We need to add the signals in. There we go. And then the next set of signals will be on this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's all done. The crisscross happens a bit further up because the way this is. And that should be fine. So this line here, where it goes to Boston to New York, add a stop here, then to go back up and add a stop here. That works, because it will come down here on the right side, stopping that station. On the way back, it stops on the other station, because of the way we set the platforms up. And then the crisscross doesn't happen further down there. I don't know whether that's going to be an issue with the crisscross happening there. Only time will tell. But... In reality, guys, I've now got Washington, D.C. connected to New York and to Boston. 
which that train, even though it's going to make money, it's going to need an additional carriage. And I'm not too sure about these uh, kind of bends and winds and... There's a grizzly bear there. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. So they've still got the road to kind of go around here. They're going to need the road around here somewhere as well. But the problem is I've still got to extend the train line. Otherwise, they'll start building through here. I don't have the money to do that. And I've also got to delete this building. So we'll just let them... We'll let them just utilize this. We'll do what we've got to do. I mean, to be honest with you, I could implement another tunnel here and pop it out further down the road. Flatten all this. Have roads going across. Maybe that's what I should have done in New York. Hmm... Yeah, well that train comes in, it's going back with 32 people on board, and there's 8 people waiting. So, I can see that train, as glorious as these tunnels are, where is it, there it is. It's got a little bit of a longer distance to now travel. But it's got 32 people on board, does it navigate all this okay? I'm gonna need to have to add an extra carriage on that right now, because of the demand we're gonna have. Oh, we navigates that perfectly fine. There's nothing to worry about. And now we got passengers on both sides of the platform. So a full load coming in. Only seven grand? Is that... Oh, no! That's right, because it's got 32 people, but it doesn't mean those 32 people want to travel to New York. They could want to go all the way to Boston. I forgot about that, which is why we then... We need, like, dramatically need quite a lot more <laughs> carriages. 68 people. Just like that, by adding an additional city on this run, I have now transformed this passenger line to now one to having too much demand. So a lot of these passengers right now have come the full distance. So how much do these guys now make? 200 grand. So in finances right now. Uh, we've turned a profit every year, but this year is going to be the biggest and the best. So we'll add more onto that as we go along. And then the route going down to Charlotte right now is where we're going to have the V to start bringing in all the goods um, from what we're creating over there. So we've still got a long way to go to set it all up. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We've still got a long way to go. But we're laying the foundations, which is really important. It's really, really important that we are laying these foundations down. So what I'll do here is I'll flatten this land. I'll do another tunnel system make it pop out a little bit further down. Oh, I, I, it is a nice idea, but I don't like the crisscrossing being so far away. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just... Yeah. It's just me. It's just me at the end of the day. That's how I feel about it. Right, there's three trains all about to approach all together. So they'll make some big cash for us now, and we'll get out of this little hole that we're in. So they'll all utilize three different platforms as well. So dropping the goods off, picking the goods up. This one's coming in right now, dropping the goods off. 1.4 million for that one, because that one's a lot further away. And then the next train, next trade coming in. So this one's got to wait for this one to pass the first signal, which is just there. That one then moves, and we get one point, nearly 1.7 million. And the coal train is now on the way. Beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll get, grab this train right now. <laughs> I almost couldn't click it then. We'll edit the train. And we'll add. I'm only going to use these ones because they're cheaper than this one. They're literally half the price. One, two, three, four. I can add four more carriages on. So now the capacity has gone from 32, right, to 96. That is going to be not only a lot slower, <laughs> but that's going to be able to carry so many more people right now. It's going to be unreal, the amount of money this makes. Yeah, that has really slowed this train down. But we'll be okay. It gathers the momentum. Choo-choo's up the hill. It's only a slight hill, and it arcs over to go back down. 
Now, there's 68 people on this uh, platform right now, so it won't completely fill up. But we slightly future-proofed it for quite some time. Finances, the previous year made more money than it's ever done before, but this year's going to be through the roof. 70 passengers now on board. Right, slight little gradient. It's got a, a, a tackle here. Zooms down the hill a little bit to gather that momentum to go up the next slight hill. Which it powers through. Straight into New York. So let's see how filled up it gets on this one. Because a lot of passengers obviously are going to want to go to uh, Washington. So, fringe end 20,000, which it's almost rivaling the year before. Only 36. Again, that's fine. That's fine. It's proper shifting people right now. All right, off it goes again. Chugging through the mountains. Here we go. So, a slight little downhill section right now where it gathers a little bit of speed. Before slowly on the approach, the long grind to go up. And I want to see how many people, or how much money in reality it drops off here. So this will be interesting. How much does it make, boys? 380,000 almost. Goes back almost full. So it's not literally being filled up, which is okay. Making the most amount of money we've ever made on this line, which is amazing. We have uh, 50 people going to Boston. And how many do we have in Boston waiting right now? 23. So we, if anything, we're now over capacity. Like we've got too much capacity available. But that's always a good thing because when we do eventually get it killed up to Charlotte, I don't think I need to edit the train. Worst case scenario, I might need to add a second train because the, uh, the time it takes until the next train comes along the waiting time is going to be super high but not bad we're going to have these low periods where we're quite in the hole and then before you know it big dollar bills get made look at the amount of money we've now switched to absolutely glorious keep this going boys our first passenger line so like i said we're going to end in charlotte and then we'll split it from Charlotte down to Savannah to Atlanta. This one will go straight down to Tampa into Miami. This one will go to straight to Atlanta. And I don't know whether to take it through uh, Nashville. And then use Nashville as a T-junction. We'll have a small charter that goes from Panama. Uh, and then from Nashville, we can kind of collect up or, or connect up Detroit, Chicago... Uh, get New Orleans, Houston, and Texas. So we've got plenty of routes that we need to kind of get rocking and rolling. But this train's going to be making big bills. Look at the amount it's made this year so far. Profits for days. Shifting so many passengers is unreal. How many's waiting in Washington right now? 29, so that will keep creeping up. Train's on the way to drop some cash off. Just to make those big stacks. And yeah, not bad. So while we will expand this route and end up in Charlotte, we'll try and get the other current routes maximized and get the machines and the food distributed. It's taken its time, but I think we're in now prime position once the Charlotte route's connected to at least get some goods delivered. I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. If you are, smash a like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good.